high scores here. It's going to be exciting, that's for sure. Let's go to the field. giving the advantage to the Red Alliance. That's unofficial, but if it holds up, that will be the new high score for the regional. Unofficial score. Completely wow, that was about as fast paced as we expected to. A little bit scrappy, too. A little bit rougher than the first. Yeah, uh, that's, that's part of this game. Is It really brings out the aggressive side on teams. Um, we saw... Uh, Wow, sorry, I'm a little... No, that's right, that's right. The cool thing that happened in that match was, was especially on the Red Alliance, there were no offense-only bots. You saw 118 and 148 and their partners all switching to defense at various points to try and, and block that Blue Alliance. Yeah, they brought the D heavy on that. Um, but, but that's not to say Blue Alliance didn't do exactly the same yeah, thing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and and it, it, it was really difficult for us here. We weren't watching the scoreboard, so we, didn't, we weren't looking at the real-time scoring, and all of a sudden wow. red kind of crept up there. So I'm curious what the penalties are going to be like. The refs are huddled up once again. Um, but, you know, for you folks at home who might not be able to see this, we actually have some... Uh, ensuing drama going on back here. It looked like Spectrum lost calm there at the end. Yeah, yeah I, I heard some some shouting from the driver's station. Uh, yeah. Usually, you know, when, when there is a technical fault like that, 
Um, you know, our field crew, our field staff works hard to go back, see what the problem is, and, and try and get it rectified. Right, and they um, really want to identify if it was robot-related or if it was field-related. You know, building a robust robot yeah. is part of the game, but, you know, we really got to play on a fair playing field, so yep. we got to make sure the field wasn't dropping a robot. Um, yep. And so it does look like the Spectrum driver is talking to uh, lead FTA Mark Kors here. Yeah, and that's uh, something great we have about the Lone Star Regional down here is one of the, the best FTA around. Yes, uh, yes. Mark Kors is down here. And then uh, we've had Frank Merritt visiting. He uh, was, yeah. He stopped by for opening ceremonies yesterday. Um, yeah, but uh, but back on this match. Yeah, and then it looked like – it looked like Jersey Voltage also had some kind of problem with their intake towards the end of the match. There was a blue oh, ball just kind of sitting. They couldn't quite get to it at I the end. That, yeah. um, but it was so high profile right up to the end. It was really the defense that gets me so excited about this game. Yeah, yeah, which is which is crazy because, you know, going through the qualifiers here at Houston, you know, we didn't see nearly this level of defense. And it's, it's not until these robots pair up and their, their Elims alliances and now, you know, it's all on the table. And uh, just smashing it. And what also is cool about that is it gives the robots a chance to shine. You know, like like we were talking earlier about 118 and Drizzy Voltage both being able to score through double defense, uh, you know, through robots Absolutely. smashing into them. Absolutely. All right. All right, here's the real score coming up. The second match. The third match was won by... Oh, God. Second out, the Red Elias, number one seed, shows why to the number one seed. And are going on to the finals to play the number two seed. Red Elias put up a heck of a fight. All right, so we got the scores in. It was 315 for the Red Alliance, 170 for the Blue. 300-point scores are a rarity, but they're